So today I want to show you a few interesting ideas that you can experiment with in VC VRAC and also in hardware because these ideas are very much inspired by the Dopfer complex envelope generator slash LFO module. And I want to start by quickly building a similar setup and then we will look at a few examples. So first of all, we have four AD envelopes, four attack decay envelopes that we can also set to cycle so they will act as an LFO. In VC VRAC, we will use the knock module for means true. And also on the Dopfer module, each section has an end of attack gate output. Right on knock, we have also a gate output that we can set to release. So now as long as the release stage is active, we will get a gate. And of course the release stage starts only after the attack has ended. So we get more or less the same result an end of attack gate output. Now another interesting feature we have on the Dopfer module is we have a comparator output for each section. And again, with the threshold control for each section. Right, and actually the threshold, you can see this here also with this little uh, diagram or drawing, the threshold will work only on the decay stage, so we can set a level on the threshold and the comparator output will stay high as long as the level of the decay stays below this threshold. So in VCV rec I will use a comparator, this one is from count modular, and again this will work only on the decay part of the envelope, so what we can do, we can use a VCA, send the envelope first through the VCA, then to the comparator, and again use this gate output to open the VCA. So the VCA will open only on the release stage or the decay stage, letting the signal through to the comparator. So now we can duplicate this a few times, so we have four identical sections. Right, just like on the Dopfer module. And we have here also a mix output that we can mix different envelopes or LFOs. And each has also a polarizer or a 10 u verter so we can mix in positive voltage or mix in negative voltage. And in VC VREC, I will use the mixer again from count modular. Right, we can mix four signals, which is perfect right, we need it. And we can also invert the signals. So I will just use the four envelopes one, two, three, and four, right? And this is the basic setup that we will use throughout the video. So the first idea we can experiment with is cascading the envelopes, creating a complex modulation source. Here I have a nice drone with a few modules from Surge XT, right? It will sound like this. Right, and I will use the mix output of this uh, setup that we've built to modulate the filter of the drone. Right, and now on the Dopfer module, you can see that each trigger input is normal to the previous comparator output, right? So for example, envelope 2 will be normal, as you can see here, to comparator 1, right? And then uh, envelope 3 to comparator 2, envelope 4 to comparator 3, and then comparator 4 goes back to envelope 1, right? So they are being self-triggered in a way, right? So we can make the same connections also in VC VREC, right? The comparator will go just to the next envelope, and the last one will go back to the first envelope, right? And now we can change the different times for the envelopes, one will end, the second one will start, right, so they are cascade, or cascaded now, or cascading actually, <laughs> right, and now I can start mixing them together, so let's say the first envelope will open the filter a bit, right, something like this, then the second envelope, Again, we can also invert them so they can also close the filter. Right, and we get this interesting rhythm. Right, now we can still use the individual envelopes to bring in other voices. So here I have the VCV VCO going through some delay. I can use the first envelope to open its VCA, for example. Let me unmute this. 
Right, and then the end of attack output, again, that we can use, I will use this to trigger a random module that will change the pitch, that will change the notes. Right, and again, each change we make to the envelopes will change this rhythm, so if I want a longer attack... Another interesting idea is mixing an envelope with LFOs. So here I have dark energy from the geodesics. It has a built-in VCA and I have here slips sequencing it. And also the gate output of this uh, sequencer of slips is triggering one knock, one envelope in this uh, setup, right? So if I bring in the mix of this envelope, you can see this also on the scope. Right, this is basically what we get, a really short envelope that is now bringing in the complex uh, voice here, dark energy, through its internal VCA. Right, but now I can set the other ones, the other knocks here, just like on the Dopfra module, I can set them to loop, which means that now they will act more as LFOs. And then I can mix these LFOs together with this envelope and get much more movement. So if I add, for example, the second LFO, you can see this again on the scope. Again, I can also invert them. Right, listen to this. Right, again, this is without, this is now just the envelope, which is nice, but not uh, lots of movement. And then together with the LFOs. I have here more or less the same idea with the FM operator. Again, I have the same setup, right? But in this case, I have two envelopes that are being gated and I have two LFOs, right? The voice itself is the FM operator, and in, instead of using the gate directly from slips, I'm sending it first through a clock divider, and then I have two different gates that I can use, again, with one envelope and with another envelope, and then I'm mixing this with two LFOs to add more movement. It will sound like this. Maybe I will slow this for a second. So there's much more movement than, done, than just using envelopes. I have here a bass with Kikol from Befaco, sequenced by a Euclidean sequencer, just for fun. This setup can basically drive a whole patch, and this is what I have here. I have a few drum voices with tremor 2, tremor 1, and two FM operators. I have here a sequence with slips, sequencing kick all from Befaco, and I have here also a bass drone again with the classic VCO from Serge XT. I will just unmute this for now. And I'm using the comparator outputs of this uh, setup that we've used to trigger the different voices, right? Just like on the Dopfer module, we have the comparator outputs, right? So I'm just using them to trigger the different voices. Now, nothing will happen again because they are still set to envelopes and nothing is triggering anything, right? So what I can do, I can set them to loop to LFOs, right? So this will be, for example, the kick drum. Hi-hats, snare, and this FM voice. By the way, I'm also using the mix output here to control the bass voice, as you can see here. Right now, for now, the LFOs, the envelopes, the looping envelopes, they are not related in any way. They are just freely looping 
and triggering everything. So we get this rhythm. This can be quite interesting, but it can get much more interesting if we again follow the normalization like on the Doppler module. So here, as we've seen before, each envelope is normal to the comparator output. So it will be triggered from the comparator output of the previous envelope. And when set to LFO mode or looping mode, this will cause the LFOs to change direction, which can yield quite unique results. So again, I will just make the same connections here, right? The envelopes will be triggered from the previous comparator, right? And now there is some sort of a relationship between the LFOs and each movement of the envelope times and also of the threshold of the comparators will create different variations of this and this will always continue to evolve. So I will play with this a bit, let's say change the kick a bit right again change the threshold also this slower we can make this faster and they are all somehow related to one another and this will always continue to evolve right listen to this for example just when you think that you have something repetitive everything changes all of a sudden Okay, now once again, you have some homework. Try and build a similar uh, setup and see what results you are getting. What other ideas come to mind and share them with us in the comments. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching. Cheers.